What's up, family? Man, I bless each and every one of you. May God continue to guide you, keep you, comfort you, aid you in your growth and development, as well as the healing stages of your life. Family, man, we have to grow up. We have to grow up, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? We have to grow up emotionally. I'm asked so often, man, Elijah, why did, you know, this person do this to me? And I'm, man, they did the most, and it's not fair. And, man, I gave them everything. I did my all. I gave them my all, and da-da-da-da, and all this other stuff, right? And it is what it is, you know what I mean? You can't go back and cry over spilled milk, you know what I mean? You can't change what's been done. I get that been there, you know what I mean? I've been there, I promise you, I've lived that life, you know what I mean? Where you've poured your all into people and you've given your all to people and you've done everything that you can to show them how much you love them, how much you appreciate them, how much you valued them and da 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 You did everything that you could and they still dogged you out. You did everything you could and they still cheated on you. You did everything you could and they still left you. You did everything you could and they still rejected you and abandoned you and all this other shit. You know what I mean? Been there, done that. Been there, done that. Got the scars and the bag of chips to talk about it. You know what I mean? But one thing that God had to show me was, Elijah, you're going to have to grow the fuck up. And this is going to be rough for some of you. And some of you ain't going to like it. Some of you are going to be offended by it. Some of you are going to be triggered by it. And it is what it is. You know, that's your emotional state right now. You know what I mean? That's where you're at. And it, man. But what God had to show me was, Elijah, you're going to have to grow the fuck up. Stop crying and talking to me about what these people did to you. Stop telling me how these people treated you. Stop telling me why these people did da 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 and we do do. I don't give two fucks what they got going on, Elijah. This is about you. This is about you. Why the fuck you keep telling me what these people did? You keep talking all this stupid, ignorant ass shit, Elijah, but I did this and I did. Motherfucker, that's what you were supposed to do. But this is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. And again, some of you ain't going to like it, and it is what it is. You were supposed to give your all. You were supposed to do everything you were supposed to, you know what I mean? That you did. You were supposed to go above and beyond. That's what motherfuckers in relationships do. That's what motherfuckers in love do. That's what you're supposed to do. You did everything that you're supposed to do for them. But the question is, and what we fail to understand and what I fail to understand when God had to slap the shit out of me and show me was you did all this shit for all these other motherfuckers. You were willing to go broke and willing to break your back and da 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 and do all this shit for these motherfuckers. And I was like, yeah, God, I did this. And I did that, 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 that. He said, good, 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 good. Now, how come you can't do that shit for yourself? How come you can't love yourself like you love them? How come you can't do for you like you've done for them? How come you won't go out your way for you like you go out your way for them? How come you can't be nurturing and supportive to yourself? How come you can't chase your own dreams? How come you can't bring your own shit into fruition, but you do for everybody else? You'll be Johnny on the spot for everybody else. You always got an encouraging and uplifting word for everybody else. But when it comes to you, you're always tearing yourself down. When it comes to you, you're always minimizing your accomplishments. When it comes to you, you're always invalidating yourself. When it comes to you, you're always second guessing and doubting yourself. But when it comes to everybody else, man, you're uplifting, you're encouraging, you're inspiring, and you're all this other shit. And that's what you're supposed to be for them. But the question isn't how come they didn't reciprocate that to you. The question is how come you can't do that for your motherfucking self? How come you can't do it for you? How come you can't believe in you like you believed in him? How come you can't believe in you like you believed in her? You know they was lying to you. You know there was a fucking hole. You know there was a fucking crackhead. You know they were.
your fucking tweaker and you ignored all the red flags. You ignored everything bad about them. And you had nothing but good to say about them. Even while they were stealing from you. Even while they were abusing you and mistreating you. But when it comes to self-love, you ain't got none. Because your love is for yourself is tied up in how other people see you. How other people view you. How other people love you. But how come you can't love you just for you? How come you can't value you just for you? I was like, all right, God, I got you. I got you. I found myself getting into church. God help me on this part. I found myself getting into church. And it's like, oh, I had all this love for God. Man, I'm so in love for God. Man, I'm willing to die for God. I'm willing to do all the most for God. And da 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 all this other shit, right? And God was like, Elijah, 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 stop, 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 stop. There you go again. There you go again. Sit your little monkey ass down and learn some shit. Elijah, you love me. Me as God, but you don't love your fucking self. Elijah, you go and you drive miles and miles and miles to come to church in whatever type of weather. You drove three hours to go to church, to sit there in church for two hours, to turn around and drive three hours back home. Elijah, you done da 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 da. You brought all this money into the church. Elijah, you brought all these people there and you did all this shit because you loved God, because you loved me. How come you can't love your motherfucking self like that? I don't give two fucks about how much you love me. I'm more concerned with how much you love you. We got to catch this. God don't give two fucks about how much you love him. God is more concerned with how much do you love you. Because when you really fall in love with you, you'll automatically have a connection with God. When you really fall in love with you, you're connected to source. See, so many of us, we go to church and we get so involved, so wrapped up, so tied up, so twisted up in church and politics and everything else because we're looking for that fulfillment. We're looking for that place to fill the void. And we think that if we love God and we worship God and we do all this stuff for God, that's going to fill the void. That's not going to fill that emptiness inside of you. That's not going to fill that void inside of you. The only thing that's going to fill that emptiness and that void inside of you is you learning how to love your motherfucking self. We got to grow the fuck up emotionally and understand this. So many people going to church in love with God know the book of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation can quote all these scriptures, know all these great spiritual hymns and all this other shit, great testimonies and everything on fire for Jesus and killing themselves on fire for Jesus, but they're depressed when it comes to their own fucking life on fire for Jesus, but they're full of shame and grief and hatred and animosity and bitterness and racism they're on fire. For Jesus. But don't like themselves. On fire for Jesus. But when they go home, they're ready to commit suicide. On fire for Jesus. But when they're at home, they can't go to sleep unless they popping pills and drinking some shit. We got to grow the fuck up. We got to stop playing these little bullshit games. We 
are you so in love with everything else? So in love with everybody else. So in love with God, source, universe, the most high. And you don't love you. You don't even value you. You can't even appreciate all the hell that you've gone through. And what God has had to show me was he lied to all these people dogged you the fuck out. Why? So that you could grow the fuck up emotionally and learn how to love your motherfucking self so that you don't need their fucking love. So that you don't need their validation. Elijah, you've had to learn. But you've gotten distracted in church. You've gotten distracted in religion. You've gotten distracted in life. You shifted your focus from off the people to God. And you put all this time and energy into God. And what God has said, no, motherfucker, you still missed it. You're still distracted. You're still wasting your motherfucking time. Don't come crying to me, bawling and doing all this most fasting and praying and da 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 And you won't deal with your motherfucking issues. Don't come crying to me, falling in love with me, hoping and praying that I take away your fucking baggage and your pain and your suffering. Because you've got to grow the fuck up and deal with that bullshit on your motherfucking own. You've got to go through the deep abyss of your subconscious thoughts and feelings and insecurities and understand why the fuck you feel the way you feel. Understand why you think the way you think. Understand why you can't stand your motherfucking self. We got to grow the fuck up and understand. God's not going to fix your motherfucking problems. You've got to man the fuck up, woman the fuck up, and deal with your motherfucking bullshit. And understand, everything you've gone through is to teach you some shit about you. Everything you've gone through was to teach you some shit about you. But we don't want to do that. Because it's too painful. We don't want to do that. Because it's so confusing. We don't want to do that because we don't understand the wisdom in it. And so we much rather get distracted, going to church, jumping up and down, speaking in tongues, running around, being laid out in the spirit, giving the pastor and the first lady and all these other people all of our attention, all of our money and every fucking thing else. And we still live miserable fucking lives. We're still lonely as fuck. We're still frustrated as fuck. We're still suicidal as fuck. We're still depressed as fuck. We're still angry as fuck. We're still homophobic as fuck. We're still racist as fuck. So it don't matter how much you love God. What matters is how much you love you. We got to understand that. We got to grow the fuck up and catch this. Because the more that you love you, the more in love you are with God naturally. You're not distracted. See, by loving you, you love God. By falling in love with you, by getting to know you, you're getting to know God. See, so many of us, we go to church and we want to get to know God. We want to know God, know God, know God. And we want to know all the fucking attributes about God. We know all this shit about the cross. We know all this shit about Jesus. We know all this shit about Mary. We know all this shit about Joseph. But we don't have a fucking clue who the fuck you are and why the fuck you've gone through what you've gone through. Why the fuck you going through what you're going through.
It does and serves you no fucking good to know everything about the fucking Bible. You know everything about Adam all the way to fucking John, Joseph, Peter, Paul, James, everybody. It does you no fucking good to know everything about them motherfuckers in the Bible and not know who the fuck you are. Don't come tell me about Peter. Don't come tell me about Paul's ministry. Don't come tell me about James and John and Peter. I don't give two fucks about what they had going on. Talk to me about you. How the fuck have you grown? How the fuck have you healed? How are you using your life to be a beacon of hope, a beacon of love? Do you love you? Do you like you? And if the truth be told, the great majority of us don't even like ourselves. The great majority of us can't stand our fucking life. We're miserable. We're overwhelmingly frustrated with our life. We wish we had somebody else's life. We got to grow the fuck up emotionally. We got to learn how to fall in love with ourselves. And I'm not talking about this pride shit. I'm not talking about this arrogant shit. That's still unhealed trauma. When you get down to the root, of arrogance, when you get down to the root of that pride, of that self-righteousness, when you get down to the root cause of those things, it's still fucking ignorance. And it's still that they don't really like themselves. They don't really love themselves. They don't really know themselves. You give all the fucking degrees you want and still not like you. You give all the fucking fame you want and still not like you. Man. And it is what it is. We got to grow up emotionally. Hope and pray that I said something to encourage you, to inspire you, or to even challenge your way of thinking. I love you guys. Namaste. The God in me, the light in me, the love in me, the wisdom in me sees, recognizes, acknowledges, and cherishes the God, the love, the light, and the wisdom within each and every one of you. Happy healing, family. Peace.